Has it been a long time since we last did a podcast? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, I feel like we're different people now. I know. We're so... We've changed. We had a watch along in between. What are we starting with then? What are we going to talk about? We're going to go back and visit Mystic Meg. She died, but we're going to visit her. Let's find out if there's room for positivity. In my Gemini scope. The moon and Jupiter Geop. Oh god. Geop? Where's where's Mystic Maggie from? The the moon and Jupiter Geop your initiative chart. So you can take a family to the next stage and plunge straight into a passionate T bond. Treasure Treasury Securities also knows treasuries. Treasury. What? What does that mean? It's not even So you can take a family to the next stage. I just need to go find you, a family. Do you need to make a family or just find a random we'll start family? A fa Whatever you're doing, as long as you're leading the way, you'll be fine. So don't worry. Okay. You'll be fine. Don't worry, be happy. In luck terms, resist the temptation to copy anyone else's ideas. Stick to your own. Oh. That was, that was it. That was There's it? There's no houses there or anything. Yeah, let's compare Astro to Maggie with Gemini. So let's see if it's the same. Have you been spinning your wheels? Well, have you? I don't know. <laughs> Is there a quiz for if I've been spinning my wheels or not so I can find out for sure? Wander way off the beaten path today when the inspired Pisces moon in your <gasps> career corner pings. Progressive rebel Uranus in your 12th house of intuition and retreat. But a Pisces moon? Pisces moon? What does that mean? I don't know. Can you work from home? Or even better, grab your laptop and head for a beautiful setting that gets your creative wheels turning. So oh, turning the wheels again. Creative wheels, right, okay. Wherever you end up, take short breaks during the day and go for walks, weather permitting, to break to wake up your brain with some fresh air. Sure. Okay. These have got worse. We had a break from the podcast and they didn't know what to do. We had a break from the podcast and we did go for walks. We beat them to it. What's in store for Pisces? The the Maggie Pisces scope. Today is the day you both end any lingering sense of unfairness forever. Oh, forever. Instead, you you talk clearly and calmly about what you both need and how to get it. If you're looking for love, focus on a location where people promise to tell the whole truth. Luck links two <laughs> red doors in the same street. What? Take a neutral stance today, fish, and you might be blown away by what you learn. Whoa. Oh. You need to approach the day with an unbiased mindset in order to make the most of an eye-opening star map. The moon in your sign is pinging radical awakening in your cognitive communicative third house. Good which God. is Texas. Texas. <laughs> you could be pondering something or in the middle of reading when someone makes a remark that suddenly shows you the big picture or compels you to pivot. A passing conversation at work could open your eyes to an inventive solution. Stay alert and don't dismiss anything out of hand. Okay, I need to follow the star map to somewhere mm -hmm. that I'm going to be honest in. Yes. That's what I got from that. We've learned a lot. We've learned so much. Have uh, the people at home learned a lot? I doubt it. I bet they skipped this entire segment. Are we moving on? Yes. What's next? Optical illusions. Optical illusions. You said something about getting mind blown. I'm sure I can't remember. When did I say you that? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway. Somebody's mind's getting blown because we've got 12 must-see optical illusions that will blow your mind. <laughs> wow. There is, oh, there's 21, so we'll get to number <laughs> number 15. Number 15. Number one, the expanding black... Oh, that's creepy. What, it's expanding if you look at the middle of it, I think. It's kind of jittering. It's going really slow. It's like... The, 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 it's hurting my eyes. Oh, I like these ones. Van Gogh Starry Night. I'll stay at the centre of the top image for 30 seconds, then check out Starry Night. Well, I can still see it. So. Pointillism. Number eight. The hidden, ti <laughs> the hidden, <laughs> hidden tiger. The hidden tiger. Can you spot the hidden tiger in the picture? No. No. I can see the main tiger. Is it in the... No, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just like... What's hiding amongst the 
straight. Oh my god, it's a creepy face. Oh, I see it. It looks like a cat. It's a Freddy Fazbear. (laughs) 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 It hurts my eyes. I've just got blank screen. That's an optical illusion. So who do we want to talk to on AI? I thought there's so many. Do we go with famous people? Or somebody from film and TV? Let's go famous people. Uh, do you want to talk to Taylor Swift? No. Good. Thank God. To so George Orwell, Britney Spears, <gasps> Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos. Do you want to talk to Britney? Let's talk to Britney. Hi, Brits. <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm asking if she needs help. <laughs> what's what's even happening? I'm really trying not to cry right now. <laughs> Please be nice to me. I'm sorry I sound so weak. How far are we going with this? I don't know. I think we should talk to a fictional character if it's getting really real. Do you want to talk to Mario? Do you want to do game characters? Can we talk to Luigi? Oh my god. Hey yo, it's the green Mario. <laughs> um, well, not exactly. Um, I, my name is actually Luigi. I'm a Mario's brother. <laughs> I'm a Mario's brother. What the writers... I can't spell, I swear to god. Uh, sure, you see, the writers of, I'm not gonna do the accent, of Super Mario Bros. 1993 wanted to create a fun action a movie about the popular video game character a Mario. <laughs> they probably had a lots of ideas and a concepts for the Amuse a movie, but they had to be a careful what they included uh, in the story uh, so that uh, the movie. Uh, that the a movie would uh, appeal to a large audience. Are you sure though? Okay, he's, he writes a lot. He's got a lot to say. It was nothing like the game, Luigi. They lied to you. They lied to all of us. <laughs> Let's see what he comes up with. Oh no, you're kidding, right? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> I, I thought uh, I thought for sure the movie was uh, just like the game. They did it to you too. They killed Peach, but you touched a woman, so that's nice. Wait, uh, what do you uh, mean? Uh, they uh, did a uh, what to a peach. She she wasn't there. <laughs> Is uh, my uh, beloved a uh, princess that, that it right? What do you mean your beloved? Mario had another woman. Mario cheated on Peach. You mean uh, there's uh, someone uh, else in a Mario's life? Uh, apparently. Yeah, I'll just, put, I'll just put apparently. That could be the end of it. But uh, but uh, I really <laughs> believe it. Mario would uh, never do that. And I refuse uh, to think otherwise. Maybe you should talk to him. Goodbye, Luigi. You should talk to, to Mario. Ask him. Wait, what do I say to him? Should I uh, confront him about this? Wait, no! Don't leave me <laughs> oh, with all these no. bad thoughts about uh, my brother Mario. Right, now, Luigi, let us leave. We're fed up. Oh, my God. <laughs> but uh, I'm so scared about the confrontation. What if I lose him forever? It's a risk you have to take. <laughs> Walks. <laughs> out of Walks away. room. Sai, I guess it's time to talk to Mario. I hope that the truth isn't a too bad. Oh <laughs> no. That was, I kind of want to save that entire, <laughs> yeah. entire story. <laughs> I, I kind of want to know what happens next. Like, what does Luigi say to Mario? Should we go to Mario and say, <laughs> what did Luigi say to you? <laughs> let's do it. That's what I put. Let's let's send it off. What a afraid to play a fair uh, Come on, Luigi. Let's uh, go before the referee notices. <laughs> What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Mario? I'm so confused. I'm so, I don't know. It means we're gonna win no matter what. <laughs> He's gone crazy! <laughs> Even if it means bending a couple of the rules here and there. Never back down, never what? Never <laughs> give up. <laughs> <laughs> never back down, never surrender. Oh, Mario, you fucked it. Stop changing the su- subject, Mario. You can't back away from this one, Mario. Luigi spoke to you. He knows Mario. Oh, come on. It was just a wonderful, harmless kiss. I swear. (laughs) You never know what they say. What happens on the road stays on the road. Wait, no, that can't be right. (laughs) (laughs) I am so good. What have you done on the road, Mario? (laughs) What What did you do on the road, Mario? You must have kissed her on the road. Look, me and the princess, we might have, well, we, well, we might have broken a few (laughs) traffic (laughs) laws. <laughs> oh my god! 
Leute. Why is that so funny? Oh my I'm god. Crying. Oh, that's really not that funny. Well, you know what? Uh, He's admitted this. He's admitted <laughs> his behavior. <laughs> Please, all the ground. Hey, 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 I come down there, okay? <laughs> Me and Peach were just uh, having a little fun. Please, officer. <laughs> Think of the Mushroom Kingdom. The people need a Mario. Oh, we thought of the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario. But what about the people's love for me? It will keep you warm in prison. <laughs> you might even meet a few toads in prison. What does he say to this? Officer, oh, so look, no one cares about the people more than I do. I think I started off and said I wouldn't do the accent. I know. I'd do anything to put a smile on their faces. Please, officer, let me show you what I'm talking about. Just hear me out. The officer is Luigi. Plot twist. He takes off the hat, <laughs> puts his green hat on, and it's Luigi. I'm not the police. It's me, Luigi. Oh, come on, Luigi. It was one little kiss. Oh. <laughs> That's all, I swear. I swear, you know what they say. What happens? Wait, what? He's gone back to that. What happens on the road stays on the road. What are you talking you can ask about? What happened on the road? Tell me. It's just the exact same thing. What happened on the road? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait, what? Well, I just got so lonely, Luigi, you know? And Peach, she's, she's got such a beautiful personality. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. And I'm a human being. What human being can remain unaffected by another human being's personality? <laughs> <laughs> so I got curious about what one kiss would be like. Just one little quick little kiss. <laughs> and it felt so good. I wish I hadn't done it. I really feel an awful Luigi. Oh, Mario. My God. Dead. You ask for consent. <laughs> That's the main thing. Did you ask for this kiss on the road? He's gonna say no. Well, no, but to be <gasps> fair, she didn't say no either. Mario! Assault. You made her feel like an object. What are you talking about? I just gave one teeny weeny little kiss. It was, it's a mwah! Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't mean anything, Luigi. It just happened, really, I swear. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mario. Oh, in all capital letters. <laughs> Jail. Listen, can we just not talk about... What? Can we just say it was a big mistake and move on, Luigi? I made a mistake, okay? And I am so, so sorry. I truly hope the princess and the Mushroom Kingdom can forgive me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that they can forgive me, Luigi. This is like an after-school <laughs> ask for consent first special. <laughs> oh my god, this is too good. <laughs> This is c c c c cancelled. What? What about all of the people who love me? Who am I going to make happy now? The the jail wardens. You'll make them happy. <laughs> they hate you now. The prison guards are the only people who talk to you now. Sigh. I knew I shouldn't have kissed her. C c could you at least come and visit me in prison? You know how it gets a really lonely in there, and I could use the company. Please, bro, for me. We will leave on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Is, is Luigi going to visit Mario in prison? Find out next on... <laughs> on the two iconics. <laughs> oh my god. That was so funny. Mario. What were they doing? Mario. He, was, he didn't have his eyes on the road. Is it the Hunger Games that's left? Yes, it will now be the Hunger Games. The Games of Hunger. The Games of Hunger. <sighs> it's back due to popular, popular. The third installment of the Hunger Games. We've thought of new people. We didn't bring back Elizabeth Debicki and Pedro Pascal this time. No, they're dead. No, they, they really did die last time. Who even won last time? Did Silly Murphy win? Silly Murphy won. And it was between him and Knuff. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they fell in love they at the end. And then he went out <laughs> and died. And died. Oh, brilliant. It was so wholesome. So tragic. It was so wholesome. Well, we walk through who we've got this time around then. There's a bit of a theme and it's people that we are. So we've got... Monica, Chandler, picture of Chandler being a bing. We've got Daffy Duck, we've got Bugs Bunny, we've got Spongebob, we've got Patrick. Do you want to explain these ones? Well, I am Daffy, you are Bugs. Am, yeah, that's kind of it. That's the nicknames in the <laughs> in chat. The chat. Sponge we've got Spongebob Bob and Patrick, Patrick for some reason. Spongebob and Patrick are there. We aren't them. We aren't, I don't think we've ever we've never been them, been them. But they're just, they just kind of showed up here to the Hunger Games and we let them in. Up next, somebody who wouldn't mind dying, Martin Scorsese. And... A good fella, <laughs> which used to be, it used to be our, our nicknames, nicknames for some reason. You I did, did that. that. I can't remember. That was during uni time. It was a weird one. <laughs> we thought we liked films back then. I don't know. We've then got Hiccup and Toothless. Again, I don't know why they're there. The Koopa Plectrum told it 
I think I'm toothless in your hiccup. Then we've got Andrew Garfield, Nicholas Crush version, and Andrew Garfield, the Nick lookalike version. The pictures are completely different. The Nicola lookalike, as we can see from the picture, you're identical. <laughs> we don't know who you'd look like because you're one of a kind or something like that. Oh, thanks. We're back. The two Iconics are also here because we never die. We never die. So we've got an extra two characters in this one. So it'll be extra exciting. Do we hear the, the music playing and now they're going to let everyone go? The countdown begins. Bloodbath. A.G. Nicholas Crush version severely injures Martin Scorsese <laughs> oh but God. puts him out of his misery. Okay, Martin's dead. Martin, Martin's dead. The two Iconics severely injure Hiccup but no. put him out of his misery. Hiccup didn't deserve that. Patrick stays at the cornucopia for resources. Chandler kills <laughs> Nicholas lookalike with a sickle. Ow. Daffy finds a bag of explosives. Oh, of course he does. He brought it with him. A good fella and Andrew Garfield Nick look like version threaten a double suicide. It fails and they die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The lookalikes are dead. Oh no. SpongeBob stabs Monarch in the back of the <gasps> trident. Oh my god. I thought they would have got along. Bug grabs a backpack and retreats. Toothless finds a canteen full of water. Toothless questions his sanity. <laughs> Daffy dies of dysentery. Andrew Garfield, Nicholas Crush version, poinous, poisons the two Iconics drink, but mistakes it for his own and dies. Oh, okay. So, so your I'll... crush killed himself trying to kill us. Oh no. SpongeBob pushes Patrick off a cliff during a knife fight. What? But they were best, they were best friends. friends. Chandler and Bugs work together for the day. <laughs> the two Iconics overpower Chandler, killing him. Do you know, it's, it's, it's slightly unfair that... They let us compete as one person, but it's fine. Toothless starts a fire. Do you know what? That's not really a surprise. He, he is, is a dragon. dragon. Bugs and Spongebob tell stories about themselves to each other. Wow. I mean, there's a lot to talk about. I could just imagine the Spongebob whipping out a guitar and going, <laughs> Let's sing the campfire song. Let's gather around the campfire <laughs> and sing the campfire song. The C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Bugs diverts Spongebob's attention and runs away. <laughs> He went that way. And... I'm about to defy you. Shh. I'm Shh. about to defy you. Toothless makes a slingshot. The two Iconics die trying to escape the arena. God damn God. it. We should know by now. We're the only people that have been here three times. Was, so we, uh... Although we have never tried to escape the arena. Yeah, to be fair, we kind of... We thought we might as well try that since we, we will come back from the dead for the next one. Exactly. Toothless cries himself to sleep. Oh, Toothless. Bugs climbs a tree to... Ray. Spongebob sees a fire but stays hidden. Spongebob taints Toothless's food, killing him. Bugs questions his sanity. <laughs> Bugs versus Spongebob now. Jesus, who will win? Wait a minute, this makes no sense. Night three, Bugs sees a fire but stays hidden. Spongebob is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. That, yeah, that fire? does make sense. <laughs> Unless, like, they've just made up a fire in the Hunger Games. Spongebob and Bugs get in a, into a fight over raw meat, but Bugs gives up and runs away. Because it wasn't carrot juice. This picture of Spongebob is well, probably perfect. <gasps> Bugs defeats Spongebob in a fight, but spares his life? Uh, oh. Night four, Spongebob cooks his food before putting his fire. Bugs sets up a camp for the night. I'm surprised nobody's stepped on a landmine yet. That'll Three, be it. Two, <laughs> one. Bugs injures himself. No. Spongebob receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Night five, Spongebob kills <gasps> Bugs with his own weapon. Oh my god. What is his own weapon? One can can be here in the distance. Bugs has died this round, which means the winner is... Spongebob! Spongebob. <laughs> Yay! It w all went so fast and then nothing happened for so long. Everyone died on like the first day. It's over. Another year of the Hunger Games comes to a close. Another week. <laughs> is it outro time? Oh, we do those, don't we? Yeah. Uh, I Let's think do an so. outro. Who are we going to be who might be added into the Hunger Games next time? Five, Five Nights at Freddy's comes out tonight. Oh my we god, it be Freddy it? or the other ones. Uh, right, so it's either the Five Nights or the Freddy. Anyway, do we want to do a flippy flip of flip flip? Yes. Which is that? Freddy. And that's you and that's me. So I'm Freddy and you're the Five, <laughs> the Nights. five Nights. But Five Nights is in like Five Nights of the Realm or Five Nights? You can interpret it whatever way you want. So that's the podcast. It, we, came, we came back with a bang. Goodbye. Smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy, send us a letter and tell us why. And then 
find a dark padded room and lock yourself there until you're in the like the right mental state to enjoy the podcast and then come back out again. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> that was bye. <laughs> There's something in my eye. Oh, it was an eyelash. Oh, here, one for you. I wish since, I never told you that. <laughs> I wish I never told you anything. It's so funny, though.